Hello YouTube! The Mr. Thelos here, and uh, I'm playing Kobol Space Program. Um, I've... Uh, yeah, let's... Actually, let's let's uh, start new... Uh, Mr. Thelos. Sure, let's go sandbox. Um, I'm not good at this game. At all. Like, at all. Um, it... Yeah, it's very... This is... Uh, I'm going to create for you the first rocket I created. And it's... It's a good rocket, but... Yeah, that was it. <laughs> and, um... Like an idiot, when I first played this, I didn't do go through the tutorial and I, I press space. It's like... Nothing's happening. Uh, so I looked around a bit. Turns out, you have to use a throttle! What's that about? Although, so yeah, if I make any big mistakes, it's probably going to be because I don't remember to use the throttle. Anyway, um, you can, you know, control your ship kind of with W S and D. Oh, for fuck's sake! Hello. Sorry about that. My asshole of a brother came in and uh, decided to annoy me for a little while. And in that time, the ship went into space came back down and blew up anyway let's um, yeah see so this can get us close to outer space it didn't get us all the way to space it got us close so let's um, let's see if we can build something that can actually get us into space and do spacey things so get that uh, uh, radial decoupler. Uh, if you right, if you click on these little things down here, then it will like kind of duplicate it around the ship in as many ways as there are blobs. If that makes any sense. So it will stay selected if you select it, obviously. And um, those are solid fuel boosters they will like they don't have a throttle they don't need a throttle they'll just go until they burn out and then what well, these are these things because I didn't say because I'm stupid are decouplers so when these things are finished burning I can press space and they will fall off and this thing will carry on going and it will basically reduce the weight of these things that are there so let's Get some more decouplers. Get some more solid fuel boosters. And get some more decouplers. And more solid fuel boosters. There we go. Right. Now, right now, this does not look very stable. And that's because it's not. So, what you're going to want to do is get some strut connectors and start connecting things so I'm going to connect each one to its opposite like so and then we can go outside and see if this thing can actually lift off the pad and if not I have a idea of how I can get it to actually lift off Okay. Oh, down here you can see Jebediah Kerman. Uh, let's. Uh, he can. This is uh, us looking as he can look. Uh, you got a little, you got a little throttle there, so you can actually control the spacecraft from the inside. Uh, you can you can press buttons. I think maybe sometimes. Maybe not. Oh God! What was that? Oh. Uh, Okay, I think I'll leave it on that one because that one's got things actually happening. Um, oh, um, hold on, hold on. How do I get out of this view? Because I just started the, the. Oh God, they're gone. Oh dear. Um, do, do I have do I have oh, life support? Oh, oh, things are exploding still. Uh, it's just, can we, 
throw up a little bit. No, I think everything. Yeah, I think everything's blown up. Okay. Um, let's go back to the vehicle assembly building. Uh, launch again and see what went wrong, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Right. So it does have enough lift to get us off the ground, but not very far. <laughs> hmm. And I'm going to have a little problem when I want to decouple them because I'm probably going to start falling. And that's not good. It's not good at all. But we'll wait until oh, it's starting to it's starting to turn. Oh, I do not like that. Oh god. Uh, yeah. Okay. Go. Second. Go. Go. Everyone, run for your lives. And I don't have a parachute on on Jebediah. Um, I know you didn't die last time, but um, yeah, you might want to say goodbye to anyone you know and love right now. Yeah. Oh, things are exploding over there. Okay, um, vehicle assembly building? Yeah, okay. Right, here's a way to fix what just happened. Uh, go to control and get an SAS module. That will help to keep your uh, spaceship stable, I think. The term is, um, and there was something else, I believe, but I cannot. Was it this? No, it's not that. Uh, oh, it might have just been. Uh, yeah, it was probably these. So we'll put SAS modules on top of these, because you know that will help. Maybe, hopefully. And uh what right. So I want Yeah, I want all you to be in six. Or in five. Sure. And all you in five. Um Hmm. Uh if I put all of them into four. I put all of them into four. I put all all of them into four. And then I put that into four. And then I select these. And okay. Uh let's add a new one. Alright, put all them in number two. I put no put all them to number two. Come on, <laughs> why aren't you going into number two? Okay, fine, let's move number two up here to number one. And put all these into, okay, let's put all these into number one. Or into zero. Sure, go to zero, that's fine. Uh, yep. So, and then you, uh, yep. And okay, right. Um, there we go. A two-stage rocket that has four, eight, twelve solid fuel boosters on it, and some SAS modules to help it live. Uh, so you turn on the SAS. I thought you turned on the SAS by um, clicking that. R? No, that's RCS. Ah, T. T is SAS. See, I'm learning. And go. <laughs> ah. Oh dear. Um. Ah. Yeah. Um. Bill, um, might want to say goodbye to anyone you. Hold. Oh, dear. Hmm. Maybe I should have actually just let him go on, because he, he would have actually had time to say goodbye, maybe. Right, let's restart flight and um, observe what actually just happened. 
Ah, right. Yeah. Okay, I see now. Right, okay. Right. It's okay, it's okay, Bill. It's, uh, oh, throw, 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 throw! <laughs> I keep on forgetting to throw. <laughs> um, T? Yeah, come on. Yeah, no. Right, we are going to land this, Bill. We are going to land this, and you are going to, to survive. You didn't survive. <coughs> okay. Back to the vehicle assembly building. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, because that'll work. Uh, um, sit over there. Just for a moment. Just, yeah, just for a... Uh, from oh god no no please put them back on oh god sick no I can't undo that oh yes I can I undid it it's fine but these ones can go away along with these because we don't need them right let's try this again now with only eight solid fuel boosters T and RCS Although I don't have any RCS dust on my ship, but oh well, off we go. Ah, see? Perfectly stable. Gosh, look at them. They're amazing. Except, uh, I think they're starting to uh, tilt slightly. Yeah, I can kind of see it tilting this way. That might be a problem, but not yet, not yet, uh, that's not a problem yet. I hope you guys can still hear me, because uh, this sounds pretty loud, but I'm sure you can. Uh, might want to start throttling up right about now, before I forget when these uh, solid fuel boosters run out. And go. Goodbye. You can crash into Kerbin. Uh, is it carbon? Yeah, pretty sure it's carbon. Ah, look! We're into the darkish blue part of the atmosphere. And we might even make it to the even darker blue. But that all depends on how much fuel we have. Um, which... Can I hover over this and see? No? No? Okay. Um, well, you can see it down here. And, uh, what's that? Docking. What's docking? I don't want to click that, just in case. Um, yeah, once we get onto space and we're going pretty slow, I'll show you, uh, something else that you can do with the little, little Kerbal. So, let's, uh, let's just try and get this tilted correctly. There we go. Turn the uh, RCS off because we don't actually have anything that uses... Oh my god! Made it past that! <laughs> Amazing. In fact, if I throw it down a little bit, it's gonna throw it down to maybe there. Let's have a look at the map. Uh, my apolapsis is about... Ooh, okay, it's still going out. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, I do not like the way you're, you're leaning. So, you can, if you can stop that, that would be amazing. Thank you. Ah, look at it. Listen to the musics of space. Now you're going a bit too far that way. Come back. Ah, so peaceful out here in space. Right, three hundred thousand, almost four hundred thousand, and we have about a third, a bit more than a third left of fuel. When it gets to five hundred thousand, I'm gonna actually turn the engine off because I have a fantabulous idea. It's fantabulous, trust me. And 
and off. It didn't go off. Why you no go off? There you go. Now you're off. Right. Now let's actually turn a little bit. Oh, no, no. Uh, right, we want to get it right on the line between between uh, the blue and the orange. So, let's gently just tap. Tap me tap. There we go. Perfect. Ah, right. And let's speed up time up here. You can speed up time a little bit. Um, but you want to be very careful when doing that that you don't go too fast. Because, you know, you're going to miss your chance to do whatever it is you want to do. And, oh, go away. Right. Just before we get to the little AP, I'm going to stop it and we're going to burn we're going to burn as hard as we can but I'm gonna check that my ship's still facing the right way so let's turn it back down to one and we are approaching that in about a minute which will give us enough time to check oh you have wobbled a little bit off but that is absolutely fine so a quick check of that. One minute twenty-two. One minute twenty-one. Uh, actually, yeah, I think this is safe enough to do to uh, start the burn. So let's throttle up. Oh, and you have gone off center, which is rather annoying, but you know it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. You're fine. It's fine. Right. And as you can see, look at this. This is our trajectory. And it's getting bigger. Ah, very, very much bigger, actually. And hopefully, we'll have enough fuel to get it all the way around the, uh, the planet. And if we don't, then uh, it's going to be a bit of a crash landing. But, no, we did it. Ah, oh, look at that. And we just ran out of fuel. Huh. Hmm. That is... <laughs> that is a very off-balanced orbit compared to, uh... Compared to the, uh, Mun. Which is one of our goals, to get to the Mun. <sighs> but, for now... Oh, um, Bob. Yeah, you're gonna... You're going to be in space for quite a while. Yeah, there's no way he can get back. At all. So, for now, let's just, uh, let's just have a little bit of fun with Bob. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, throttle's up still. Let's turn that down. And go. Can we go any higher? We can. Oh, we can go a lot faster. Oh, can't go faster than that. <laughs> oh well, still look. Here's uh here's Bob. He now orbits the uh the planet. Bob's gonna have a nice time. <sighs> Maybe we'll catch up with Bob later, but for now, this is the end of the first episode of Kerbal Space Program. I've been the Mr. Thelos and um yeah, if you like this, leave a like and uh, favourite it, and uh, if you're feeling really nice, you can subscribe, because that will make me very happy. Goodbye.